In this lesson two, we're going to use spot healing brush tools and other healing brush tools to remove some of the artifacts that we see in our image. For instance, we see this nice folding crease on our image. We also seeing in the upper right corner, some kind of squiggly line. We're going to use the spot healing brush tool to remove those. The key to the brush tool is to use the tool not too big and not too small. You just want to use the tool enough to fix the spot. So now there's two ways to resize the, tool, the healing tool or any brush tool. One tool is to go right up here on the tools menu, properties menu, and go to size and size up the tool. But you have to go size the tool, go back to see how big it is. Resize the tool, go back and see how big it is. This can be a real pain as you can see. The best way to do it is to use the shortcut keys. And the shortcut keys to resize the tool is the left and right, right brace. The brace keys are located on your keyboard to the right of the letter P. Right below the plus and equal sign. You see the two keys, the left brace and the right brace. The left brace makes the brush smaller. The right brace key makes the brush larger. You want to use a brush not too large and not too small. You just want to do one stroke to correct the image. I'm using the scroll wheel to scroll down. Notice there's a few more artifacts right above the gentleman's head that I'm going to take the liberties to get rid of. And I'll continue going all the way down. There we go. And now I'm going to remove this crease. And a little bit more to finally get rid of it. I'm also going to go to Windows and click on, excuse me, on View and click on Fit on Screen. And now I can see what I need to fix as well, which is right up here. Reduce my brush size. And let's go ahead and fix this as well. There, done. We just used the Spot Healing Brush to fix this picture. Go back to view and fit on screen. We can also use the view fit on screen, which is control zero to get onto the screen. So if we look zoomed in, control zero, and we are back on the full screen. So here's a family and looking at this beautiful river and there's an individual in the picture that is not part of the family. We are going to remove them by using the patch tool. We're going to do the content aware patch tool. We're going to select it and we're going to select this individual pretty closely including the individual's shadow. As you can see, I'm doing that and done. Now I'm gonna take this individual's shadow and move him to the left or to the right, like that. You can also use this tool to duplicate people. Right. So now I'm going to line up. See this back over here is a road. See where my cursor, my triangle is. You see this yellow little road. I'm going to line that road up with what I'm doing right there. 
see how I'm lining it up? So I won't get the person's elbow. And there we go, lined up. When I release the mouse button, the person is gone. The road is lined up, but we have this brick out of place. Let's go ahead and fix this brick right here. There we go, and straighten it out. Now, uh, this is going beyond what the book said. Notice we have a brick that kind of looks the same, right? That's not a good look. That Your eye can catch that and say something is wrong. So let's go ahead and use the healing brush tool to modify that. A little bit larger. I'm just trying to modify this. Notice how, you know what, notice how this is out of place. Let's go back and use our patch tool to patch that up. We selected way too much. So let's go ahead and reselect what we want. And let's correct this. There we go. Control D to deselect. Notice the lines are lined up, but it looks the same. So I'm just going to use the healing brush tool just to change it just enough so nobody noticed that it is the same brick. And right there, just to give it a little bit so it looks a little different. Now we are going to also apply something called a clone stamp to repair the actual building right here. Notice when we took the person out, we took some of this building with us. Notice this building kind of looks like it's kind of looks like it was patched right in here. See this? So let's go ahead and use the clamp, the clone stamp tool. Left click and select clone stamp tool. Now with the clone stamp tool, we're going to make a brush a little bit larger. To use the clone stem tool, we need the donor area. The donor area is going to be the area that we're going to copy from. So right now, when I hit the Alt key, notice the target, it targets the donor area. Notice I'm, as I'm going off the edge, it's drawing this edge. So I'm gonna, don't quite like that, how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select normal, gonna select a line, and I'm gonna just reselect the donor area right here. And then let go and back to where we were. I'm gonna put a line back on. And I'll tell you what it does in a few minutes as I'm drawing. There we go. I'm trying to capture that. 
that's more or less what we're looking for. So what does this align do that we clicked on and off? When you have a donor area, let's say I'm going to duplicate this young individual. And I'm going to take a bigger brush so it's, but it'll be much quicker to duplicate. I'm holding the Alt key. There's the donor area. When I'm painting, I'm duplicating her. When I release the mouse button, the area that was donor jumps right back to her head. When I have it aligned, see that? There's another one. When I release the mouse button, jumps back to her head. See that? Just keeps jumping right back to her head. Let's undo that. When I have this align as turned on, it does not go back to the head. Now the space is relative, meaning that if she is right here, when I left, lift off my mouse button, the area still, based on where my circle is, the area is still by her feet. It didn't jump back to her head. Now I moved it over, you'll notice the gentleman's feet. See that, there's his sandals. See this right here, his sandal is right there. So if I start drawing, I'll get a copy of the boy. That's what this align does. Thank you for joining me for this part of lesson two, repairing areas with clone stamp tool, healing brush tools, and content aware patches.